Hi, I'm Sandra Sheets Wise, and I'm at the Gallery One Artist Gallery in Kissimmee, Florida. And today on ExpertVillage.com, we're going to paint a sky and a cloud. <laughs> okay, ready? There are many ways to do it. This is a simple way. Um, I also want to tell you about a, a product called uh, acrylic retarder. And what it is is an extender. You just dump a tube, a little a one inch amount in some water in a spray bottle, shake it up. When you get ready to paint, you take your tub water and put a three or four sprays in that. If you'd like to keep your paints a little longer from getting a cover on them before they dry out, you can spray them with this too. Okay, and it just, it just limits the time a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. The first thing we do for making a painting, it's very simple. You want to wet your brush. You can take some of this thick gesso that you can buy in the store. First, before you do that, wet your brush. Wet the canvas where you're going to put your sky. And always make sure that you paint your sky further down than where you're going to bring the ground so that they'll meet and you won't have any faded areas. Make sure all of this is wet. When you're doing uh, acrylics right away, you have to paint really fast and you don't want to overwork the canvas. If you do, you'll have spots in there that lift and then you'll not be happy. Then what you want to do is use one of these on it, okay? <laughs> so you don't want to do that. It takes a little practice, but don't worry. You can always gesso it over if you don't like it and start painting again. Take a little bit of this thick gesso, paint it on as fast as you can, add a little water. Get it spread all over where you need it. Go a little further down on your canvas. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your brush and clean it in your water. Get most of the paint out of it. And take some, get your water out of it too. And take some of your blue, whatever blue you choose to use, and start at the top and paint really fast down. And as you notice, as you go down, it'll get lighter, OK? And you just keep doing that really fast. And as you, if you do, you can also lighten your brush load, OK? And it'll take the lines out of it, OK? Clean your brush if you need to. And then lightly, you can take a blender, that one of the brushes I was explaining about, and just go over it. That's your sky. Now we're going to start on a cloud. Clean your brush from the blue. Get rid of all the water in it so it doesn't run. If you get drips, that's okay too. That's part of painting. Remember also, you don't want to make everything perfect. If you do, nobody likes to look at the painting. You want to have a little bit of oddness in it. For clouds, you can take your white, take a big gob of it, for example, and we're going to put like a... This is part of the texture, having some of this, okay? So don't worry about it. Remember, there's more fluffiness at the top and more flatness on the bottom. So we're going to add this. Then you can take the blender, for example, and run it down like this. And that'll help you with a cloud. This is Sandra Sheets Wise. I hope this helps you a little bit. Visit me at my website. Thank you.